Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube, and today I'm going to be using 2 Chronicles 7-3 as the inspiration for today's page. For he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. And something that represents something enduring and forever is a circle. And I'm going to paint a wreath, and I'm going to show you how to make the easiest wreath in the world with some watercolors. You can do this with other mediums as well. I'm going to use some PH Martin's paints, which come in these bottles that have little droppers. So I've taken a couple of circles from around my house, plates, bowls, whatever you can find, and I've made three concentric circles that go off the edge of the paper, which really makes that circle even bigger because it's so big it doesn't fit in your Bible. That's how big and how enduring God's love is. And the center of my three circles I'm just painting and don't stress out about making it absolutely perfect. Just do the best you can. You're going to be putting beautiful leaves on this, so don't worry about it. And then I'm going to put a sheet of paper underneath my my page because I don't want to go off the edge of the page and drip paint down the side of my Bible or anything. For each one of my leaves, I'm going to lay my brush down and I start with a light pressure and then press the brush down and then lift up and it makes that leaf shape. And I'm trying to follow along the circles that I drew, the outside circles, so that these are all roughly the same size. If you want one that's all different sizes, you certainly don't have to measure those. But it was kind of nice for me. I like things that are orderly sometimes. And for a wreath like this, I thought it would be really nice to just have that that same width all the way along around the whole thing. You can also make them so that they aren't even, so that the leaves come off in different patterns. You can put flowers along it, etc. But this might be a good thing if you're just starting and you don't know how to paint very many objects. These leaves are really easy to do and they're great practice for getting your hand used to the motion of the brush. I'm using a number 12 round brush by the Silver Brush Company. I love these brushes. They have a really nice point on them. They also hold lots of pigment, and lots of water, so they work really well for painting things like this. Now, obviously, I put down, down way too much paint. If you use these paints, you only need a tiny bit. I used a little bit too much. Some have a lot to either use on a different project or to wash off and uh, wash down the sink, but when you're using these kind of paints, it's hard not to get overexcited when you're putting a drop down. So now I'm going to do the other side of my wreath, and I'm starting at the same point that each one of them came to on the, the vine itself and making another leaf go out the other direction. And notice that on some of these, I'm going the opposite direction. I'm not starting at the edge and coming down into the, the, the vine. So you can go either direction. You can start on the outside or you can start on the inside. And it works pretty well both ways. I'm also not worried about trying to make the paint super even. This is watercolor, and that's part of the joy of watercolor, is that it's a little bit on the uneven side. On Bible paper, since it is slicker than other papers, you can take a baby wipe if you have a couple areas that got a little too dark or something, and smooth those out just a tiny bit with a very barely damp baby wipe, and you can kind of fix a little of those areas. And while we're doing easy watercolor, I thought I have this big gap in the, <laughs> the place above the text that's printed in this Bible, which is printed in gold leaf, by the way. I'll link that Bible in the description down below if you're a fan of gold. But the verse is down lower, so they put the, uh, down, down lower in the text on the left, so they put their verse text, the, the graphic, with space above it. So now I have this uneven thing. So putting a heart in there worked. I just did two circles and then joined them with a triangle at the bottom. And I have a gold pen. This really beautiful gold uniball pen allows me to put some detail around my heart. So I'm just gonna put a line around it. And then I thought, you know, his love is right at the heart of everything. And so I put a, an arrow going into the heart. Now, normally those arrows go through the heart out to the other side. But God's just keeps going deeper into the heart. And that's where I decided to, to just make this arrow point straight into the middle of the heart. And I thought this was a really sweet and simple page that you might be able to learn something from. 
So here you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to share it with your friends because your friends might also want to get into Bible journaling. You can visit my BibleJournalingMadeSimple.com website for lots more inspiration for Bible journaling. The book is coming out in October, so I can't wait till October 2018. I can also chat with you if you're interested in uh, chatting about Bible journaling on the Facebook group. So there's a link to that in the description down below as well. I'll see you next time. God bless you.